everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new today's video is going to be a super super exciting video especially for me personally because I waited literally all week to film this video I did not touch a single thing in these boxes and I've been waiting like I've just been waiting I literally spent a ton and ton of money on this order like I think I legit had like a makeup blackout to the point where I just kept adding things to my cart and adding things to my cart and then eventually all these boxes showed up and I'm like oh my gosh what happened have you guys ever experienced that before because it's a serious problem <laughs> Um, also, I wanted to let you guys know that every single product in this haul is going to go toward my makeup kit. And yes, I know what you guys are thinking. Julie, you just did a makeup artist freelance kit. Why are you adding stuff in there? Well, the simple answer is that I'm a psycho <laughs> and I'm always changing and adding things to my kit. I also am running out of a whole bunch of things or things in my kit are sort of kind of starting to like not really expire, but they're getting to like the end of their expiry dates. So I wanted to make sure that I replace those items in my kit as soon as possible, but I also wanted to try new brands. A lot of these will be singular brands that I'm going to talk about in my haul. I'm not sponsored by anybody or paid by anybody. The only affiliate things that I have on my channel now are the Amazon links that I post. Those are affiliate links, so I do earn a very small commission off them. I'm talking like super small, but I am really grateful for anybody who clicks on those. Anyways, let's go ahead and get on to the video. <laughs> um, first of all, I knew I had to stock up on mascara wands. I got these right here. These are the ones with the pink bristles because I really like being able to see if I actually have product on my applicator. With the black ones, you can never tell if you have black mascara on there just because like obviously it's the same color so you can never tell. I wanna make sure I fully coat the applicator. So pink ones let you know when the product's on there. I wanted to get more of the brow spoolies that I had. Um, they actually are used for lower lash mascara with me these guys right here. So basically this is good for anybody with really sparse bottom lashes or anybody who really doesn't have very many lashes at all in the bottom. This is really good for. So I do like using those. I use them for brows every once in a while, but I mainly use them for people who just don't have very many bottom lashes. And then I also got some other mascara wands here. I decided to try these ones. They're the silicone applicators. They're also called like pineapple tip applicators. They're just like these little silicone ones. I wanted to try these out because I feel like those might possibly give me a little bit more control as opposed to the ones that kind of just stick out and poke all over the place. So yeah, I wanna try those. And then I also got more of my sample jars, not super exciting, but these I usually include in my bridal touch-up kits. I give two per person, so I give one of their lip color and then one of powder, and then I put it in these jars and then use these little labels on the back, their little stickers. I put them on the tops of the lid and then I will label each person's name on them and what they are inside. So yeah, sample jars are a must. I go through these quite often since I give two per person usually. And if you have like really large wedding parties, then you obviously have to double them and it just gets to be a lot of jars. Let me go on to the makeup products now. I ended up making about five different orders, I think. Like, it's kind of insane, honestly, because I didn't realistically just think about doing everything at once. I don't know why. <laughs> so first off, let me start off with the things that I'm most excited about, honestly, are things from Danessa Myricks. <laughs> if you guys have not heard about her stuff, it's really amazing. Um, so, woo! I just caught that. It almost dropped and I caught it. <laughs> Anyways, um, Danessa Myricks is actually going to start putting her stuff in Sephora and everybody's freaking out about it. However, if you're a makeup artist and you shop on Camera Ready Cosmetics, <laughs> you can get a pro discount on them because they're specifically designed for makeup artists. So they have been sold on Camera Ready Cosmetics for a really long time now. So I have been able to get my hands on them for a while, but I just haven't kind of like gone into the hype yet. And then all of a sudden I just like splurged. She's mostly known for her color fixes and I do have three different ones. So the color fixes are basically like multitasking items. They're liquids and they come out in like a little squeeze jar, which is really sanitary for makeup artists, by the way. They don't come in like doe foots that are super annoying and you can't sanitize them. Squeeze tubes are the best. So I'm really glad she thought of that. Again, it's a very makeup artist friendly brand. So she tried to make things as suitable for makeup artists as possible, which I really, really appreciate. So I got three different ones. So I actually got the glaze one right here, which is actually going to be a glaze that I'm gonna personally use for lip gloss. I have the matte clear lip gloss right now, but that's so sticky and everything. And I just feel like this one might be a little bit thinner and stay a little bit better. So this one again looks like this and they were actually smaller than I thought they were for some reason. 
<laughs> um, in comparison to my hand, which is like not that big to begin with, it's this. Also, my viewfinder is over here. So that's why I keep looking over here. So I will try this out. And then I have two of the matte formulas, which I'm pretty darn excited about because I hear these guys are like super water resistant. Like I've seen people test these before. They dry down in people's hands. And then whenever people put water over top of them, they almost like ball up into like droplets, if that makes sense. Like it literally doesn't penetrate this product at all. Water just literally sits in droplets on top and it's so, so waterproof. So I'm really excited to try these. I'm personally going to use these for eyeliner but um, you guys can use them for like lips, cheeks, eyes, whatever you guys want to. And then they also do have the foils, which I almost bought like two of the foil finishes and I stopped myself because <laughs> I spent way too much money overall. But I did get two different shades of the matte ones. So I got the black shade and the chocolate shade here. And the chocolate one looks like this. This is actually a true chocolate color. It looks more red on camera and yeah, it is more of a red kind of brown tone but if you mix the black and this brown together they actually make a really good like dark chocolate colored liner if that makes sense <laughs> um and then this one is the black one obviously it's black black it's called blackout and this one looks like this i just feel like my inglot gel liner isn't super waterproof anymore and i just wanted something that i could use as a gel liner that's so so waterproof that people are almost gonna like struggle taking off at night i want it to be that waterproof because i don't want my brides crying and having eyeliner mess up so i wanted to try these guys out next i'm going on to some primers that i got from her i got these two right here and the first one is the hydrating face lotion this one is supposed to be a face lotion, so like a moisturizer and a primer in one. So you don't have to necessarily go in with a separate primer, but it hydrates any dry skin clients. This one does come out in a little tiny pump applicator like this. It just has a little lid that it comes with. It almost looks like the MAC strobe cream, so it has light reflecting particles inside of it. I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see this. But like, it just has like light reflecting particles in it and it almost kind of looks like the pink light if you guys have ever tried that for mac looks exactly like that and then this is the smooth fx so this is the mattifying and refining gel and that one looks like this and this one actually does have little tiny like gold flecks inside of it you guys can't really see it but it's supposed to be a silicone based primer but i don't think it's as silicone based as the professional by benefit that one's just really slippery for some reason so hopefully Danessa Myricks knows what's up and can make like a really good silicone based primer and mattify you really really well but yeah that one also comes in a little pump applicator too and this one is the same size as the hydrator they are literally so small they look like this I can definitely tell that Danessa Myricks kept makeup artists in mind when she made this packaging because she made them really lightweight and really, really tiny. So I don't have a problem at all paying for things like this because she literally kept every single makeup artist in mind when she designed these products, which I'm really happy about. And then the last thing I got from Danessa Myricks is actually a lipstick palette. You guys are probably gonna think I'm insane because I literally have a ton of lipsticks. However, a lot of those are MAC lipsticks and some of them are getting to the end of their shelf life. <laughs> so I just wanted to make sure I replace those as quickly as possible. This one is the Nudist palette. She also has a Brights palette as well that has more reds and like the bright fun colors inside of them. But I mainly work on brides. So the Nudist palette is like right up my alley. And this one, just has a little top it comes directly off all the way and then i don't think you can stick this in here now you can't really stick this in like on top here i kind of thought they maybe like fit in each other but i guess you'll just have to put this to the side which is fine i don't have a problem with it but this one does have such pretty shades like you literally can create any sort of lipstick color you want in here so this one right here is actually a deeper red burgundy shade and then this one's a dark plum I don't know how well this is picking up on camera. And then all these are obviously your nude color shades. So your pinks, your um, light browns, orange tones. And then these are your browns and mauves right here. You can literally mix and match and create like any shade you want in here. I have talked to other makeup artists on Instagram about this and they said they're more of like a satin finish as opposed to a matte, which is completely fine. And then of course you can mix in that color fix um, gloss, that glaze that I have there and make any of these into a lip gloss. So you can do whatever with it. And this one also is like maybe about a half inch larger than my hand. So it's still very compact. Like it's just like extremely compact, really lightweight. I love it. 
And the packaging honestly seems like pretty durable for what it is. So in case you like drop it or something, then it shouldn't be an issue. So I will go ahead and probably keep that one possibly in its original container. I'm not really sure yet. I might depot these, but I might not because I actually do really like the packaging of that. Next, I'm gonna be moving on to the stuff that I got at Sephora because I think that's probably the next thing I wanna talk about. So first thing that I got um, is this Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. This one looks like this. This one I believe is three ounces. Um, yeah, it's 3.3 ounces. There is a full size one and it's eight ounces, I believe. So it comes up to maybe about here. I just wanted to try out something that was a little bit more luxurious for my clients. I have the Kiehl's Cucumber Toner right now. I think that's what it's called. But that one just was like a little bit more on like the cheaper side. It's really gentle on the skin, which I'm really happy about. But I just wanted to kind of give my clients more of like a luxurious experience. And I really like the fact that this is really lightweight and travel size. So I will probably adding this to my luxury bridal facials especially but i do want to start incorporating toners just like with my clients in general even the ones that have like the basic bridal package so yeah um and this one does have like really cool i don't know if they're actually like rose petals inside of here but they have like little floaty type things that are in here so hopefully this one's really good for the skin and doesn't like irritate anybody wait is that the only thing i got from sephora did i get anything else oh no wait wait i also got hourglass stuff I got all my hourglass stuff too. So I ended up getting all these like ambient lighting powders. Um, I got three ambient lighting blushes and then two ambient lighting bronzers. I have literally never tried hourglass in my whole entire life and I really wanted to try the loose setting powder because everybody's been like raving about it. And I do want to try that one out, but I just did not want to spend the money right now for it. <laughs> but I will probably be trying that out in the future. But anyways, I got three different blushes here and I did swatch these earlier just to let you guys know because I couldn't wait. <laughs> so I got the shade Mood Exposure and I believe all these are the full size versions but I'm not really sure. So I got this one that's Mood Exposure. Then I got this one that's called Luminous Flush and this is more of a pinky tone. Mood Exposure is more of a mauve tone kind of shade. But as you guys can tell this one's a lot more pink. And then the last one I got is called At Night. And this is actually, I think, the newest one to their lineup of blushes. And I think I also wanted to get the Dim Fusion one. I think that's what it's called. Was it Dim Fusion? Is that what it's called? It was a more corally shade. I almost bought that one too. And this is called At Night. It's more of like a darker kind of, um, not really burgundy, but it's like a darker like coral kind of shade. It's really, really pretty. Again, I had to swatch these blushes because they looked really nice and I just needed to feel them. <laughs> and they are really, really nice blushes. Right now, I just have the LMR Cosmetic blushes and those guys are like pretty much like drugstore prices and not like I'm bashing on it or anything. You know, I advertise myself as like a luxury bridal makeup artist. So I wanna make sure I have like all luxurious products. So that's why I'm trying to revamp everything. So next I have the Nude Bronze Light. I'm literally running out of almost every single bronzer I have. So that's why I had to restock. <laughs> so the Nude Bronze Light looks like this. And this is the Diffused Bronze Light. And this one looks like this. I think that that's it for that. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna just show you the two things that I got from Ulta. I just randomly made this order. So I had to restock on the Mario Badescu facial spray. I want to get a more luxurious facial spray and I'm really trying to figure out which one I want. I'm thinking about the Jane Iredell one, the pomace spray, that one looks really, really good. So I might replace it with that. So let me know if any of you guys have tried the Jane Iredell facial spray because I really wanna try that out. The other thing I got is the Iconic London Illuminator Drops. These look like this. So I used to have the cover effects um, custom enhancer drops in the shade sunlight and they're like a darker champagne sort of tone that one's a liquid highlighter but it dries down way too quickly and I like mixing highlighters like this like liquid highlighters in with my foundations however the cover effects one was like way too highlighty I know it's like you know you wanted a liquid highlighter so like it's gonna be a highlight you know what I mean but I wanted to have it be a little bit more sheer than that and I've seen a ton of makeup artists mix in the iconic London illuminator drops this isn't the shade original um, I believe they also have a deeper shade as well. But this one just comes in like a little dropper, perfect for dropping into foundations. And this one's just basically more of like a liquidy sort of illuminator, doesn't dry down as quickly. So I wanted to use it as a mixer with my full coverage foundations and to just to give them more of like a shiny kind of 
dewy appearance. I'm just trying to focus on more healthy, dewy, glowy looking skin instead of just packing on like a whole ton of full coverage foundation and I wanna share them out with something. So I bought those to replace my Cover FX drops because I'm almost out of those. And then the last things I got are a whole bunch of Charlotte Tilbury products. I got um, all of the Light Wonder foundations. They look like this. Again, I wanted to get more of a tinted moisturizer slash sheer foundation in my kit because I don't have any. Most of my foundations that I have in there are medium to full coverage foundations. And I just needed something that was a little bit more sheer. They do actually have like a little ball or something that you shake inside of it, kind of like a paint can, honestly. <laughs> That's kind of what it reminds me of. So you want to shake it really good. And then they do come out in a little squeeze tube right here. And they actually are a lot more compact and lightweight than I thought they would be. Just in comparison to my hand again, they are about this size, so they're really tiny. So I probably will end up just keeping them in these containers because they are plastic and they are very lightweight. So Charlotte Tilbury did think about that, which I'm glad. So yeah, I just um, have a bunch of different shades here. I'll go over the shades that I have. Um, I just need to get them all out of their boxes. Oh, also the boxes look like this in case you were wondering, but not super exciting. Okay, so I know all these shades look really similar on here, but I promise you they're not. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go over the shades here. So I have the shade One Fair, and this one looks like this. And I believe that all these packages are clear. I don't think that the packaging is tinted to the color of the actual foundation. I think that this is clear and that the foundation color is like in here, if that makes sense. I don't know if that made sense. So I have one fair, then I have two fair, and I think I made a mistake because I think these are like really similar to each other, but I think they're just different undertones. And then I have the shade 4.5 fair. It's 4.5 fair. Then I have the shade six medium. And again, all these are kind of looking the same, but I really promise you they're not. I have the shade eight medium. And then this is 10 deep. And that is the deepest shade that I have. I believe, um, I think 10 might be the deepest shade, but I'm not really sure. But again, if you guys want me to do swatches or like review anything, then I definitely can do that in a separate video for you guys. I just didn't want this video to be like super long or anything. So I probably won't be like doing swatches or anything. I just wanted to show you basically what I had. Oh, and then of course I got like free goodies from Charlotte Tilbury because I spent way too much money on it. So they're like, oh yeah, if you spend over $95 and you get this stuff for free, I'm like, oh, no way. <laughs> so I got a whole bunch of like little sample size goodies from them. Um, I ended up getting the Legendary Lashes Volume 2 mascara. And again, I collect travel size mascaras like this because I like to give my brides um, travel size mascaras just as like a little goodie for them in their bridal touch-up kits just to say thank you. And then I have the Matte Revolution lipstick. This is in the shade Pillow Talk. It's just a little travel size lipstick. And then I got the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara, another sample size mascara. If I get a chance to pick my samples, then I will usually get travel size mascaras just so I can include them in my bridal touch up kits. So in case you guys do the same thing or you guys want to start, make sure you start adding those little travel size mascaras to your orders to everything because it's really handy later. Because if you're already spending money, you might as well like get free stuff, you know what I mean? So then I also got the Skin Goddess Clay Mask from Charlotte Tilbury. I just got like a little sample size here. And this is by far like the best clay mask I've ever used. I don't know why I don't get a full size version of that. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys. I won't go through it all, but Ulta legit sent me like a whole entire little thing after you spend like over $85 on their website. Um, I did get a couple of things for myself too. So that's why I spent so much, <laughs> but they literally give you like all of this stuff inside of here. Whoa, it has like a whole bunch of little sample size stuff inside of it. It's really, really awesome. Some of these are moisturizers and primers and things I can use in my makeup kit. So I'm really excited about this. And they also come in like a really cute little bag with this tassel. It's a really cool beach bag. It's actually like, um, oh my gosh, what do you call this? It's like a little like slippery kind of material. That's pretty waterproof. So if you want to take it to like the beach with you or something, or just have it as like a makeup bag for vacations, then that's really cute. And yeah. I have a ton of makeup bags, but this one's like really cute because it looks like a straw hat. Like it's pretty great. 
Anyways, um, that's about it for this video. I just wanted to tell you guys and share with you guys all of the goodies that I got. Again, the things that I showed you will be added to my makeup kit if it improves like my personal wear tests and everything. I will be personally using them in a very sanitary way and trying them out on myself and other clients before I add them permanently into my makeup kit because I just personally like to test new products first before I start just putting them on people that I'm actually charging for my services, you know what I mean? So that's why I usually kind of collect models sometimes and just try a whole bunch of new products on them just so I can get a feel for how the products work and how they handle. So in case you guys add new stuff to your kits, definitely go ahead and make sure you try them on people that are not paying first, just in case something goes wrong. <laughs> Again, let me know if you guys wanna see any dedicated videos of like a first impression sort of video or anything, because I can definitely do any of these brands on camera or any of these products on camera in case you guys want to know how they wear or how they test out. Anyways, if you guys stayed all the way to the very end of this video, definitely go ahead and give me a big thumbs up as well as hitting that subscribe button. I upload a ton of makeup artist related content on this channel. So if you guys have not already subscribed to this channel, please do. As always, I hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye.